Hello, this is the action of a New York Steinway Model O made in 1919. Went with my son Evan to the client's house and uh, we found the hammers were very stiff, so the notes didn't play properly. Uh, so these ones here, if we push them down, and you see I had actually had to push them down there, the hinges are tight. So we're going to look into how to cure that. And um, if we play the, the keys, uh, this one's working now, but if we look at the top keys, then let's have a look at this one. Uh, so they're getting sticky, they're very sticky and don't work at all. Now it might not just be the hammers, first of all we would check, uh, check here the centre rail and that needs lubricating um, normally. So in fact they were quite free but we will we'll take the action apart and lubricate them. Normally you do the keys first. Uh, the client wants a, a job just to get the piano going. She doesn't actually play but her son comes to her house and plays from time to time. Uh, here the heel here will need possibly talking as well so uh, I'm, I'm going quite fast on that so I, do, I want to really concentrate on the main way that we can solve the problem in this case and it's quite common on Steinways. Steinways have a, a low up weight um, let me explain what that is. So this is middle C and if I put 20 grams on it uh, and it doesn't quite go up so the up weight is the sort of maximum weight you put on and the key will still go up so if we take this four off we've got 16 grams and it is going up so it's a bit less than than 20 grams 20 grams is really the minimum up weight normally for a Steinway so um, if you're in the trade and like to comment I'd love to hear because I haven't worked in the USA at all and would like to hear your comments that would be very useful um, but because it's low up weight and because the hammer's been refaced if we look at this middle C uh, a lot of the felt's been taken off the hammer so it requires more up basically the hammer's light and so the key, it, if, if they're at all sticky, and it's quite common on Steinway grounds when they're at all sticky, maybe this hinge, maybe here, um, both need lubricating really, then you're going to have a problem very often with the notes sticking. So at the top here, this last one's left here, we press the keys down and they're all sticking. So what we're going to do, uh, as I mentioned, we do have to lubricate here. Normally you do it that way around where you start with the keys but because the hammers are so bad it's an obvious job to do. So I'm going to repin these hammers and uh, try and show you why we decided to repin. So if you look at this top A here and um, this is all the weights that we have here. There's about 65 grams uh, or so or maybe a little bit more and if we tap underneath here it just about makes the hammer go up if I tap so really that's over 65 grams at the moment. So we're going to change the center pin here um, and we're going to see what difference it makes. So Jose here is helping me. Jose is Evan's uh, one technician who's working with Evan and he's taking the screw off here and we want to make sure the same screw goes on the same. It's important to keep the same screw really because they vary slightly. So now we're going to test the hinge and if you'd like to put, the, put it at right angles now if we hold it at right angles like this and drop the hammer it should swing up to seven times. Try it. And it's not swinging at all, it's just hardly going down. Uh, of course it's the top hammer, it would be less heavy anyway, but it should be swinging at least three times I would say is what we normally go for. Renner apparently say about three, four, five times swing is when they, we tested Renner actions and they tend to be about that. Um, amount of swing. So I'll show you what you mean what we mean in a second. Now before we take the pin out you can see it's green, it's got verdigris on it, um, which is because probably almost definitely because it's been lubricated uh, with oil based lubricants. Um, Protec lubricant is, is something you can lubricate with but when it's got to this stage really the pin is changing because the dirt inside there um, is sort of integrated into the felt. We need to get some of the dirt out. And by the way, I would normally like to change rollers. Really, we'd like to change hammer shanks and rollers if there was enough. If the client was uh, had enough to to let us do that, so we'd change hammer shanks and rollers. And then all of these uh, would be the same t th tightness, and all the, all the hinges would be the right tightness. So now we're going to take the centre pin out with the centre pin extractor. Now it's very important that this goes in the centre. We don't want to push the felt at all. So a lot of care has got to be taken to get, get that right in the centre of the pin. So now it's in the centre of the pin. Gently push, very gently, and we can see it's going. we're not getting touching the felt. And then push it right through, and the pin should either drop out or we just pull it out at the other so end. Now we can just pull the centre pin out.
and let's have a look at the hinge. Now I can see that it's very green with verdigris. So what I need to do now is clean the felt because the felt's got very dirty and if we put the pin in uh, it'll tend to stick on the pin. So we just want to clean that out very carefully. So we really don't want to open this up anymore, we just want to clean it. I think we're going to clean the inside with a bit of sandpaper as well and then we clean the other side and really the idea is not to really take off any felt. If you take off any felt you end up going up a size or two in centre pin and that's not really what we want. We're just going to clean it on the inside a bit with some sand. I don't want to make it any, don't want to take any of the wood off really just to clean it a bit. So there shouldn't really be any friction here, we want it to drop nicely without the centre pin in. So we're trying size 20 pin in here and you can push it in with your nail like that and that really is too loose. Uh, otherwise it just starts to come out with time as the hammer goes up and down and then that's really really bad so we want that to be tight that's too loose. Now this is size 20 and a half and we're going to try that one so pushing it in with the nail and that's not going in and then we've use the bench push it in like that and it is just about going in with pressure so that's the right size for the wood so now trying it in the felt um, it's a bit too tight if you try and drop it there it's not swinging at all it, and it's not on one side as well so we're going to have to open up the felt very gently so now we want, need to open up the felt very gently and obviously this will help to clean it as well so we're just going to gently open it up um, both sides so we do that side and then go on the other side and do the other side and then test the pin again sorry this is a bit out of focus there we are um, and then we put the pin just test it once more by the way this is like a little file it's not round you can see it's got it's square so that, that just reams it out very slightly as you put it in so now we've gently reamed it out really a little bit and it now swings about three times on that side. So that will do very nicely. Um, and uh, I just heard a colleague of Evan has mentioned to me that in the USA you have something supply 88 PFTE um, and uh, apparently gets rid of the verdigris. I didn't know about that. So really doing this to learn as much as anything. So now I'm going to put the pin in and make sure it's in the middle and uh, push the pin right in. It, it may find, we might find it's tighter than we expected, but we'll just have a look and see. So we are push the pin in, again carefully and slowly, uh, but it should be fine as long as the pin extractor is lined up properly. So we go right in, push it hard, a bit harder in because it needs to go. Okay, let's test it now and see what happens. So it's not swinging enough. So we just have to take it out again and do a little bit more. It's best to be painstaking because if you just take a little bit too much felt out you end up going another number up um, of the size of the pin. So this is 20 and a half, we end up going up to 21. So if you nearly got the right size and you, you think you're going to open it too much out with this file here, you can always use this brooch which is completely circular. So you can just sort of wind, either push it backwards and forwards. Again, you, with great caution because doing too much will make it too loose. So now let's test it. One, two, three, that's just about perfect. So um, we can cut the pin, end of the pin off now. So now we can cut the pointed part of the pin off as flush as possible. And there we are. So you can also test by pushing this if you try pushing that and it shouldn't really go down on its own so that's just the right tightness. Now important part of the job is when you put the screw back on because the hole here um, with these screws being taken off and put back on very often especially on Steinways uh, which are worked on a lot uh, then the screw doesn't tighten up properly if the hole is, is made bigger so uh, really important when you put these back on very often when you restore slimy grounds you have to change this rail completely because the, the screws just don't don't tighten up properly so when we put the screw back on we have to go backwards first to, to engage in the thread make sure it's in obviously you probably know this if you're a technician and when whenever you put screws in anything really you want to go backwards first and then once you're sure you've engaged then you can go forwards now you can go forwards 
and then hand tight and then obviously finish it off with a screwdriver and the other important thing is that the hammer needs to be in exactly the same position we found with this one that the hammers do end up the same position so as you screw it back in you want the string you want where you can see the indentations they, they need to be in the right place so that it's hitting exactly as it was before otherwise the tone of the hammer will be different so there we go and it, it on this, on this Steinway it seems to fit itself in the right place anyway. It's very well designed hinges, I think that's mainly why. So now if we test the down weight, just encourage it a bit by hitting underneath and the hammer's going up now. And um, this is with 48 grams. 47, 48 grams is really acceptable. Uh, depends whether you want a light or heavy touch. It was my concern that we m touch might be a bit light on this because the pa hammers have previously been refaced and that is a bit too light on some it's quite varied actually so if we move this to the middle here we'll see there's quite a lot of ver variety so there we are the e i remember was going down too easily so um you'd have to take some weights um there we are the weights in there i have to, to add weight or take weight out according to whether you want it heavier or lighter you can actually um, you can drill out some of the weight if you want if you want it to be um, lighter then you can drill out some of the weight uh, sorry heavier and drill out some of that weight rather than taking the whole weight off you can just take some off by drilling in it and that will take some of the weight off um, there and you can add weights off if you want to make it heavier too I hope that's been helpful um, now we find that this one moves nicely let's try that was the A so let's compare it with the ones next to it and there we go so uh, that was extremely sticky wasn't it very surprising um, I hope that's been helpful thank you very much for listening please do comment if you've got better ideas now, I should have mentioned because this is a budget job and we uh, wanted to do the main work which is the hammers um, really we should have started with the keys because the keys also could do lubricating though in fact they go down quite well if we take the top out of the action off we will find there's variety in some of these keys there was a sticky one up here if I remember rightly um, yes yeah, so there's some couple sticking there so uh, that's necessary and also another thing that we would quite like to do if we look at the capstan here which is angled backwards particularly um, they need, really could do with a bit of talc putting on the, the felt above it um, and these need burnishing really so there's lots of work we could do obviously we we were we are working on a budget the client doesn't actually play her son plays so um, we have to try and think of the most important work to do uh, to keep within the budget she's given us um, I hope that's been helpful then thank you very much